Welcome to our VB.net Operators Lecture video. Operator is a symbol that tells the compiler to perform specific mathematical or logical manipulations. VB.net is rich in built-in operators and provides following types of commonly used operators. The first is the arithmetic operators. Second, the comparison operators. And third, the logical operators. There are types of commonly used operators. We have arithmetic operators. They are used to performing mathematical operations like addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. The following table shows all the arithmetic operators supported by VB.net. You can see here in the first column the operators, second column the description, and the third column are the examples. So we should be assuming that variable A will hold two and variable B will hold seven values. First operator is the exponentiation or the exponent. It raises one operand to the power of another. For example, B to the power of A will give 49. For the addition, which adds two operands, a plus b here will give 9. Subtraction subtracts a second operand from the list. a minus b will give negative 5. Next, we have multiplication, which multiplies both operands. a times b will give 14. Here we have the forward slash that divides one operand by another and returns a floating point result. For example, B divided by A will give 3.5. The backslash uh, operator divides one operand by another and returns an integer result. B divided by A will give 3. MOD is the modulus operator and remainder of after an integer division. B MODA will give 1. Let's move on to the order of operations. So in an equation with multiple uh, operators, we have to observe this what we call order of operations. So basically, we use this what we call rules, which we have PEMDAS in our math or arithmetic uh, calculations. P stands for parentheses. E for exponents, M for multiplication, and D for division. Next, A for addition, and S for subtraction. So if you can see here in our third uh, order of priority, we have the same order of priority of equal uh, value or equal order of priority, the multiplication and division. If, the, if these two operators come together in the same equation, we shall be observing the left to right order rule. And it's also true with the addition and subtraction. If the addition and subtraction can be found in the same uh, equation, we shall be observing the left to right order of computation. Let's try to look at this example. So we have here the equation five plus 10 divided by two times five minus, in closing parentheses, we have 50 minus 40. So we have here to decide which operator we shall be performing first out of one, two, three, four, five operators. Okay, so shall it be addition, division, multiplication, subtraction, or the parentheses? Okay, so since the parentheses is our first priority, we shall be computing the values inside it, which is 50 minus 40, and that is 10. So that would mean 5 plus 10 divided by 2 times 5 minus 10. So we had already computed the first, this uh, equation or this uh, operator, okay? The, the inside of the parentheses. Next is the addition, the division, the multiplication, and the subtraction. So since we have there in the PEMDAS, no, the division and the multiplication, since they are of equal priority, we have to decide or we have to follow the what we call left to right order rule. That means we shall be dividing first, then to two, then multiply it to five. Okay, so that would be 
5. Okay? So 10 divided by 2 equals 5. Okay? And our next uh, step will be the multiplication because of the three operators here, it's the multiplication which we prioritize over the addition and the subtraction. And that would give us 5 plus 25. Okay? That means this is already computed into this value. Okay? So this is already the equivalent value of the result of the multiplication uh, computation here. Okay, so after which we shall observe again the left to right order rule because the addition and the subtraction are of equal priority. That means we are to just uh, uh, perform the left to right. Okay, then we, then we shall be having the final result here. Okay, that would mean uh, 5 plus 25. Okay, that would mean 30. And for the final result, we shall have 20. Okay, so let's take a look at the order of operations we had done. Okay, so first is the parentheses. Second is the division. Third is the multiplication. Fourth is the addition. And fifth is the subtraction. So that's what we mean by uh, observing the order of priority, which we follow in our basic computations in our mathematics, which is the what we call PEMDAS rules. Another operator is the what we call, or type of operator is the what we call comparison operators. It is the comparison of relational operators compares the values. It either returns the true or false according to the condition. So following table shows all the comparison operators supported by VB.net. So we have here the list of operators, then the descriptions, and then the examples. So let's try to assume again here in these examples that the variable A will hold a value 10 and the variable B will hold a value 20. Okay, so first let's try to understand each operator here. We first have the equal operator. It checks if the values of two operands are equal, equal or not. If yes, the condition becomes true. Example, is A equals B, which is not true because A is 10 and B is 20. And that would result to not true. Okay. Next, this symbol is the what we call not. Okay. Not equal. It checks if the values of two operands are equal or not. If values are not equal, then the condition becomes true. Example, A is not equal to B because A is 10 and B is 20. Of course, it is true that they are not equal and therefore this is true. Next operator is greater than. It checks if the value of left operand is greater than the value of right operand. If yes, then the condition becomes true. For example, A is greater than B, which is not true because A is 10 and B is 20. Of course, 20 is greater than 10. That means B is greater than A. And therefore, this statement is, uh, or this, the result of this operation is false or not true. Another operator is less than. It checks if the value of left operand is less than the value of right operand. If yes, then the condition becomes true. For example, A is less than B because A is 10 and B is 20. Of course, it is really less than B, okay? And that result to true, okay? Another operator is greater than or equal to. It's either greater than or equal to, meaning the first value A must be either greater or just equal to the B, okay? So it checks if the value of left operand is greater than or equal to the value of right operand. If yes, then condition becomes true. For example, A is greater than or equal to B. The result here is not true. Why? Of course, because A is 10 and B is 20. And it's not true that it is greater even, even equal to B because they are not of the same value and it is lesser than the B. Let's move on. Another operator is we have less than or equal to. It checks if the value of left operand is less than or equal to the value of right operand. If yes, then condition becomes true. For example, A is less than or equal to B. 
that is true because A is 10 and B is 20. And of course, A is less than 10. And of course, it's not also equal to B. Okay, that's why it is true. Let's move on to three more comparison operators in VB.net. We have this, what we call is operator. It compares two object reference variables. And that means if two object references refer to the same object without performing value comparisons. If object one and object two both refer to the exact same object in sense, the result is true. Otherwise, the result is false. Another is the is not operator. It also compares two object reference variables. And that means if the two object references refer to the same objects. If object one and object two both refer to the exact same object instance, result is false. Otherwise, result is true. And the last but not the least is the like operator. And it compares a string against a pattern. Next is we have the logical or the what we call bitwise operators. Logical operators perform, okay? Perform logical and logical or and logical not operations. It is used to combine conditional statements. We have here the operator and the description and the example. So the first uh, logical operator is the what called and. It is the logical as well as bitwise and and operator. If both the operands are true, then the condition becomes true. This operator does perform short circuiting. Example, it involves both the expressions. Example again is what we call A and B is false. A and B is false. Second operator is OR. It is the logical as well as bitwise or operator. If any of the two operands is true, then condition becomes true. This operator does not perform short circuiting. Example, it evaluates both the expressions. We have here A or B is true. And we have here not. It is a logical as well as bitwise not operator. Used to reverse the logical state of its operand. If a condition is true, then logical not operator will make false. Not A and B is true. Next is we have SOAR, it is the logical as well as bitwise logical exclusive OR operator. It returns true if both expressions are true or both expressions are false. Otherwise, it returns false. This operator does not perform short circuiting. It always evaluates both expressions and there is no short circuiting counterpart of this operator. Example, A SOAR B is true. Next, we have AND also. It is the logical end operator. It works only on Boolean data. It performs short circuiting. Example, A and, B also, A and also B is false. Next, we have or else. It is the logical or operator. It works only on Boolean data. It performs a short circuiting. Example, A or else B is true. Next operator is is false. It determines whether an expression is false. Another is is true. It determines whether an expression is true. So let's try to look at the per operator's precedence in VB.net. Of course, I had already uh, given you idea how we compute uh, operators or we set the calculations based on the order of precedence. If there are multiple operators in a single equation, operator precedence determines the grouping of terms in an expression. This affects how an expression is evaluated. So we have here the order of precedence. We have here the highest to the lowest. So these are the operators which we perform first before the other. So first is await, exponentiation. Next is unary identity and negation. Next is multiplication and floating division. Integer division. Modulus arithmetic. Addition and subtraction. Arithmetic bit shift. All comparison operators. Negation. Conjunction. Inclusive disjunction. 
and exclusive disjunction. That's about operators, precedence, and VB.net. That would be all for our lesson today. I hope you've learned from that uh, video presentation. God bless everyone. Thank you.